<laughs> That's so cool. It's about to rip the ship in half. Who would have thought how good underwater super lasers are in forts? Forts has added a whole lot of new weaponry in the High Seas DLC. You've got these new hard points and you can upgrade them to have like deck guns, which can have up to three barrels, or you can get orbital lasers. You can go battleships or you can even build aircraft carriers. Now what I want to test today is to see which one is better. As this thing just, <laughs> they can't run into the walls. That's kind of neat. Smart pilots, man. Smart pilots. I, I tried to. But before we get to the rest of the video, I got to tell you guys a little secret. Okay, it's a really big secret. Probably the greatest secret known to all of YouTube. I just got to play the greatest mobile game of all time. And do you know what that game is? That's right. It's Raid Shadow Legends and they have sponsored today's video. Oh, you guys have never heard of Raid Shadow Legends? Well, let me tell you about this free little diamond in the rough. Raid has over 600 champions now from unique factions and all custom made. It's pretty insane. So let's meet the so-called bad guys of the fantasy world, but still my favorite, the orcs. Why do they get a bad rap? Well, it's because they're kind of ugly to most people, right? Well, I see through to their inner beauty where it's also pretty ugly, but super cool looking like uh, Robar here. Scary looking. Grohawk the Bloodied is probably my favorite orc, but they were created by the Dark Lord Syrop. Then in a huge battle against elves and other factions, they had all their land taken away. That might make me pretty mad too. So you can understand why they dislike humans so much. But anyway, you guys can play raid and finish out the campaign to see what happens next. But each of these orcs has different stats. I go for high hit points since I love the big tanky champions, which is why I like the orc. But you can play support, attack, or any of the myriad other classes. Overall, I just love the huge PvE boss raids, mainly for the rewards, but the PvP is fun too. But there's no better time to play, and if you scan my QR code on the screen or tap my link below, then new players get almost $30 in bonuses. You will find these rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. So that's a free champion and plenty more. So download Raid Shadow Legends today, and add me under my name and join my clan. Thank you to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring and let's get back to the action. But the question of what's stronger, battleships, orbital lasers, which, well, summon the Death Star, or aircraft, which can go on bombing runs. We want to determine which one is the best weapon in forts, but we're gonna do it in a weird way. Cause you see this thing? This is a teleporter. We're gonna try to get a super laser to fire and land in here, and then it should destroy the enemy fort. So in our first one, we're gonna use deck guns and we're gonna play without insta-build mods on. So we need to start out where all good naval commanders do. Uh, technology. So this is kind of interesting. This fort is not mine. It's actually the enemy's. However, this one over here is mine. So let's fortify. Uh, see what I did there? Forts? Yeah. All right. And work on having a strong economy. Because here's the thing. More money, less problems in video games, at least in most cases. And we're going to want to have a lot of energy production. The only There's only one way to do that. The only way to get more energy production is to produce more <laughs> energy. You know, I, I was just thinking like, these things cannot be good for the environment, right? Like, if there's an enemy fort on the coast and we have a floating battleship, all we have to do is warm the globe and eventually it'll flood. Did you guys ever play the game Worms where they had Armageddon mode and the flood would just start rising? That would be an interesting mechanic in forts. I don't know how it'd work other than water bad, but it would be kind of interesting, wouldn't it? You could build like scuba bases and have torpedoes. All right, so the strong economy does seem to be working right now dang man we have a ton of energy but we have very low minerals which is kind of funny to think that like we can build these giant engines and like suck minerals out of the water <laughs> but we can it's called science and from what i understand about science science is uh it's magic right at least to those who don't understand it like me all right so we are gonna want to defend this platform so i'm thinking getting some machine guns out here is pretty important and you know what? I'm gonna put some sandbags right in front of this gun because it just feels right. Now, this is the most important technological piece. The munitions plant. It allows us to build big guns. And I like big guns. I like them a lot. Ooh, they're building... I guess they're trying to fortify this artillery platform because everything is mirrored. This is a perfectly mirrored base. So step one... Destroy the fort. Step two, fire a laser and hit it somewhere over here. And the laser should 
hit the top of this island, and then go through it, and through the portal, and maybe destroy the ship. And then after that, we're gonna test the power of the air. Air, air power. Now, can we build these yet? We're waiting for the munitions plant to come online. And put in some bases. Ooh, and these things can get upgraded. And they call them mines. I used to say that all the time when I was playing forts, and a modder was like, you know what? I've got an idea. And they made it so, like, you could upgrade these things three times. And, and they called it a mine. And I loved it. All right. Munitions plant is done, so we need the big guns. We're gonna start the artillery barrage on the fortress outpost. All the while trying to survive over here. Part of me wonders if you couldn't, like, build up through here and then take this little top fort, because I think that's a possibility as well, other than using the super laser strategy. We'll give that a go. Now, my upgrade is resource collectors have increased production, but my upgrade speed is increased by 100% passive. So when I go like this, it's twice as fast. All right, these are the home batteries. You are control group two, and we need to see... Oh, God. Okay, one just, like, went way off target. The other one, fantastically done. What is that? Is that a... They put their upgrades here. They put their... That's a munitions plant right there. Aha. Uh -huh. I just love that I can upgrade my stuff twice as fast as the enemy can. All right, how good is this base? They fired an artillery shell. Looks like we shot it down. And, but now, I'm gonna fire tight. Tight like a tiger. Fire twin shot. Oh, Flak just shot both of it down. Now, if we do triple barrel and splice it a bit, that's kind of nice, being able to just hit them. We're just buying time till the big battleship's ready. All right, triple barrel's on the way. That means if this is triple and that's also triple, does that mean it's sextuple? That's just a weird word. We have sextuple cannons. Whoa, dude, I don't know if you should, uh, you should be talking about that. Right? Doesn't it sound kind of weird? Of course it does. All right, we want tight shell formation. You can fire. All right, so is this one on target? No, that was the one that was not on target. Was this one on target? Holy biscuits, I am not on target. Luckily, the enemy's only firing one at a time, and it kind of looks like a dinosaur mouth. It's like... It's like a bad dog. You bop him on the nose, right? You're like, hey, stop pooping all over my computer. And you bop him on the nose. This guy's bopping this dinosaur on the nose with artillery shell. Oh, they opened that artillery shell? Oh, that's why. It's artillery. Ooh, sandbags. <laughs> we need sandbags. Okay. So our shots were just a little bit high. <laughs> just a little bit, right? Those are also high. Dang. Ah! Okay, we destroyed this. Now the rest of it should burn down and the enemy won't be able to reconnect. So at this point, what we need to do is actually downgrade this thing, destroy it, and start working on some orbital sweep ammunition. Wait, why can't I build it? Oh my gosh, I do not have enough energy storage. So we're going to have to make a very eco-friendly battleship, which <laughs> sounds funny. This thing can carry, like, so much explosives. Triple fire. And we're holding the line over here. Oh, two of those got through? Oh, the flat gun. They're building an airfield, but they're building it up on the top. That just seems like a bad idea. It's almost like I could just keep shooting it with my big old triple barrel here. All right. So we could do 100% resource collection, but at this point, I, I'm not spending it. And if you don't use it, you kind of lose it by the opportunity cost of not using it. <laughs> All right, we need some orbital laser ammunition. I think we're gonna need three shots. We're gonna try to get this right the first time to see just how accurate we are. Now remember, this little back platform, it's slanted for a reason. Oh, incoming. Oh. Uh, my flat gun is not ready. So as a result, ooh, that was close. We almost got absolutely destroyed there. Orbital laser. Look at this. I'm just firing to fire. I don't know why, but I guess I'm kind of getting my angle there. Fire the big booms. Oh, they had the door open. They had the door open. Never leave the door open when people are shooting artillery shells at you. That's just like one of those fundamental laws. I think it's in the Ten Commandments. Like, thou shalt not allow people to shoot artillery shells in your doors. All right, we've got one, and we do want it to sweep. Okay, uh, I have very little idea where this is gonna go. Uh, oh, that is, ugh. That's way too far. 
the laser probably won't get here. See, let's see, if we hit there. Oh, wow, yeah, we, oof, that was really. Who fired that shot? Fire that man! Oh god, that's me. You can't fire the boss. That's, that's the nice thing about being the boss. You think we could shoot over this hill and hit that ship? Place your bets! I think that thing is going into space. I think we have the right angle, but we have too much velocity. I tell you what, if you mix forts with worms, you're gonna have the best game the best 2D shooting at each other game ever. <laughs> All right, so that was like too much, but I think it was the right angle. Let's go 87% captain. No, 83. They're gonna have to shoot that at those now. Oh, and they are. Wow, they're able to hit them. 83 looks too much, but it's pretty dang close. One might actually hit the tail. Oh, almost. So what we're gonna do then is draw them out. But remember, this is this is our goal. This is the tricky, sneaky way. This is why we're fighting over the island in the first place. That is looking barely good. Okay, so this should go. <laughs> There's a freaking super laser under the water. Oh my goodness. That is awesome. Uh, we need more of these. Downgrade double decker gun to single decker and then to no deckers. We want zero deckers. Actually, I don't know why I'm downgrading it because like even if we make another orbital cannon launching system, I can't just I, like ammunition is the late limiting the rate limiting factor here. Dyslexia does what? Oh, Jacques Mavleu. Pew, 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 pew. I want to be able to fire torpedoes, but it, since we can't fire torpedoes, we're going to fire super lasers from under the water. All right, we've got ammunition, and that one was pretty close, actually. That was maybe a little bit too much. But you don't want the one that fires in place unless, like, you can hit some magical spot where that would work. All right, super laser under the water again. <laughs> That's so cool. It's about to rip the ship in half. Who would have thought how good underwater super lasers are in Fort? Dang, these are expensive. Look at this ship. Like, it, it can barely handle the weight of itself. Oh, two are going to land. Excellent. I want to just see this thing topple over. If I could hit right here with a laser from the top, that would be ideal. There's just... Very little chance of that happening. Look at this. I can see your stupid airfield. Oh! <laughs> A few more shots with this flat gun, and I think we can take out the airfield. Look at that. How is that thing holding together? There it is. Oh, it just detonated. Okay. I was expecting it to, like, physically topple over. We have one. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Of course you are. Fire the laser, then we can use this secret island fortress for its mysterious purposes, which aren't so mysterious anymore. Laser go boom, boom. Oh, they keep rebuilding right here, but if they don't rebuild there, I think what we need to do is save up for two shots. That's what we need to do. I keep firing whenever we have one, but that is just not cutting it. Kind of curious about something. Oh, timber. Okay, that ain't gonna work. All right, so what we're gonna do is build up from this thing. And then what we need to do, if this is gonna work, oh my God, it can. We can just do tow cables. I call them tow cables because I've watched, you know, The Empire Strikes Back in the Battle of Hoth way too many times, apparently. Will that hold? Oh, it will. Oh, it will. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if those crates block it or not. There we go. Let's get some stability here. Or if I can build onto them. Oh, I can. Okay, this is Perfect. This is perfect. I'm gonna take that top side. Oh, it's working now somehow Yes, oh my goodness. Look at that <laughs> Okay, now I have access to this artillery shell. I just blew up my own base <laughs> We did all that work. All right, where's that mortar gonna go on the base? Oh, yeah, it is and they don't have the any aircraft to <laughs> That's fantastic so that's one way of, of giving the old ones and twos. S cheekily building up to this fort. All right, so that blows up myself. Got it. That looks like it could have been on. Okay, we have one. We're waiting on the second. The other idea is to launch planes, but they're going to have to go here and drop bombs over this mountain. I don't know if it's possible, but I want to find out. And I just love how silly this is. Like, we could put, like, little gondolas hanging, and, like, in theory, we could put... Can you put a hanging airfield? <laughs> this is the dumbest airfield in the history of airfields, and we just built it. I 
Love it. This is control group three. Now, if you press three and then E, it should automatically fire to pretty close to the last position. And we gotta wait for it to reload, but we're gonna hit this underbelly with the laser. All right, and so now what we gotta do is hit it again. Let's see, are they gonna be able to rebuild in time? I mean, I love how like it's on fire underwater. Oh wow, that was just enough. Ooh! <laughs> How the core is floating upside down. I don't even know how this happened. Look at the rest of the ship. Oh my god. Okay. Well now they can't block us, can they? Fire the cannons. Uh now it's just a matter of are we accurate enough? Oh, that looks pretty close. Now we don't have any planes, but we do have that airfield. I just fired it like as shortly as I could, and I don't think that's gonna hit. <laughs> Look at this thing. How is this alive? Okay, what we need to do then is sell that guy and get a missile platform. I wonder, I am actually curious to see how the enemy is gonna rebuild that. Now, if we're gonna use missiles, we need a sharpshooter. Alternatively, we could, does it look like if you fired a laser, I think you would just miss it, but it's worth a shot. So let's see if the underwater super laser can work. Oh my gosh, direct hit, that should do it. <laughs> Look at this. I've never seen a reactor like on its side like that before. And the flat gun is underwater. Can you imagine this guy? He's like, I can't breathe. <laughs> he should, they should eventually like, I don't know, pass out or drown, you know? Oh, 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 we have fires on the reactor. Okay. Where was this a good shot? That, that should do it. That should do it, right? Yeah. All right. Now is time to see if we can't do the same thing without using the overpowered, game-breaking underwater super laser. So at this point, what we need to do is like destroy all of this because we just need to turn this into an aircraft carrier. And that's actually relatively easy to do, especially with the power of mods. So we're gonna make the most unesthetically pleasing looking ship. Like, look how cool aircraft carriers look. That's how they're supposed to look. Look at this thing. It's just a giant box. Now we actually want this kind of back and then what we're gonna need to do is let's use these ones like well as we covered in the last video where we shot like 100 planes at the enemy they look like stealth fighters but they're not so they can actually get shot down which is why you're gonna want a lot of them pretty much everywhere I could place a plane underwater well actually you're right there's some space on the top what if we put them here? Will they run into each other? Oh, they actually will, I think. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, they just barely clear it. Oh, they actually don't. Okay, so destroy. We need to go taller. Can we eventually put so much weight that we actually sink the ship? That should be tested. We build something that's super massive. All right, new carrier launch facility. All right, so now we need to get, let's see if this is it. Oh, they fired the shells at the same time. Drop the bomb. Okay, that's a little bit too far. We got it. Oh, did you, I love how it like hits the water. Oh, they're getting shot down. Don't worry, we have more. We have more planes than you have flat guns, okay? Uh, that's on target. That's looking good. All right, fire the Air Force. I think the underwater super laser is definitely cooler, but aircraft carriers, oh my God, we already defeated it. How did that happen? We broke the ship even before the reactor erupted, I think? Or maybe we just launched so many. How many planes do we have left? 34, I think, and we had like, what, 56 or something? Now they still have this base, so we gotta hit that. Is that gonna work? No. Oh, here we go. Drop the bomb, drop the bomb. Yeah! We're gonna light that base on fire. Yeah, all right, we had just a few planes left. So massive airstrikes are definitely a viable strategy in forts, but underwater super lasers are definitely cooler. That's where my opinion is. Which do you think is better? Massive air power or secret cheeky like James Bond super villain super weapons? Pull the trigger on the like button if you did enjoy the video and do want to see more forts. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Look at this guy, he's crying. He's so mad.